about an arrest more than a decade in the making tonight. This man right here, 54 year old Ernesto Mercado is in custody. The crimes he's accused of left many people in Georgetown puzzled and frightened. Our Alexis Wainwright explains how police were finally able to connect Mercado to a series of cold cases. This is where police believe it all started back in 2008. This man is accused of breaking into women's homes and dorms right here in the Georgetown Glover Park area while they were asleep. He is the man who has slipped into students' homes and climbed into bed with sleeping women. It was a string of serial sexual assaults that really impacted this neighborhood. Cases that shook our community in the late 2000s. 54 year old Ernesto Ramon Mercado is now accused of terrorizing dorms and townhouses in the Georgetown area from 2008 to 2012. Multiple young women reported that in the early morning hours, they woke up to a stranger in their bed touching them who then fled. In all six cases, the suspect targeted young women in off-campus shared residences and the attacks occurred in the late night pre-dawn hours. It was something that everyone was concerned about. It's really scary and it's it's something that we were, you know, we always were um, pretty vigilant about keeping our doors locked. I think it's just another example of the fear that women experience in our society that at any time we could wake up and there could be someone in our bed. He is also linked to another case in College Park, Maryland, where he lived between 2002 and 2007. Throughout the years, our cold case detectives retested certain items of evidence and followed up with victims in person. And now 16 years later, police credit developments in DNA testing for helping them connect Mursano to six different sexual assault cases. By 2016, DNA testing showed that the DNA from these six cases came from the same assailant. The reward from a case like this is being able to tell a victim years later that we've identified the perpetrator that committed this crime and that we're going to do everything we can to hold that person accountable. And now police are investigating whether he's connected to any other crimes like these, peeping Tom or burglary cases. And they're asking for anyone with information to come forward. Alexis Wainwright, WUSA 9.